Hey guys, and welcome back. So today marks another special day. We got the release of the Italy and Malta World Update for Flight Simulator 2020. And as always, I'm going to show you guys how to properly install it on your sim and make sure that there's nothing that's new or that has changed within that process. And towards the end of the video, I'll show you guys a little bit of a preview of uh, what's been added, uh, just so we can kind of see what's new. And before I get to that, I just want to say you guys are absolute legends. You guys are amazing. I want to say thank you for all of the support you guys have given me. And if you guys haven't already done so, consider subscribing to the channel and uh, hitting that like button down below. So let's get on to the video and let's check out what's new. Okay, so the first thing I always do, you guys probably already know this, is I check for the Windows updates. Make sure that the Windows is up to date. I just want to make sure that there's nothing that's pending um, that can cause a conflict when I start up the sim. So again, you're just going to open up the Windows update, check for updates. If you have one, do them uh, before you move on to the next steps. If you don't, that's great. You can close it. Okay, so the next thing we want to check is we want to look at the graphics drivers. Make sure those are up to date. So I have an NVIDIA card, I'm going to be using the GeForce Experience. If you have an ATI, there's uh, definitely an equivalent program for you to update your drivers as well. So for me, I'm going to click on check for updates. And mine says here at the bottom that uh, I have the latest driver already installed. I think this came out a couple of days ago on the 12th. I'm running 5.12.77, so I'm up to date. Now we want to open up the Microsoft Store. If you purchase yours through Steam, then you'll want to open up Steam and check to see if there's any updates there. Um, so I have the store open here. I'm going to go into my library, which is here on the bottom left, and then I'm going to check for updates. And I think normally there's a patch here. Once you do that one, then you move on to the sim, and then there's the big uh, download. Uh, something is different about this one here. So this one does not have the original update here in the store. This one was last updated on the 11th, uh, which is when they introduced that new pop-up as soon as you click on the icon. So I guess there's nothing to download in the store this time. So that's something that's new. So we can close this one, we don't need it anymore. And now let's go ahead and open up the sim. And this is the screen I was talking about. So within that last update, that little patch, um, they introduced this. Uh, and I think this was a request from a lot of users that they were saying, once you click on the Microsoft icon to start the program, um, you're not greeted with anything for a while. So you don't know if it's running or not, and they end up double clicking it. So they entered, they introduced that new screen just to kind of give you an idea that something is running. Uh, so here's the sim, it's gonna load up. And let's see if the download is ready. Okay, so here we are at the installation manager. Uh, this screen looks slightly different than what we normally get. Um, so here at the bottom left now, it says require disk space on the left and then the available space on the right. So it looks like this, this download is uh, 609.62 megabytes. Um, so that information I think used to be on the right hand side here, but it, they just moved it. Uh, on the right hand side, now we have the installation packages path. So again, if you if your path is not listed correctly, you want to click on this and make sure that you point this to your simulator folder. In my case, it is correct. Uh, so I'm just going to click on this update and this should start the update automatically. There you go. Okay, so we're greeted now with the new splash screen and here's some world improvements. So 100 airport data, elevation, 104 points of interest. These screens go by pretty quick. Uh, there's some new discovery flights, lightning challenges, bush trips. Okay, so once we get into the sim, uh, we're going to take a look at uh, how to install the actual update for the world update. And then we'll take a look and make sure that it's installed properly. I'll show you guys how to do that and we'll check to see if we have any pending updates. Okay, now that we're in the sim, let's just take a quick look at the release notes. And you can see here, I think this is the latest, the 1.25.9.0. Um, you guys can just take a quick look here. I think this is what that uh, 600 megabyte download was for. 
it fixes a couple of issues so there's a couple of stuff that they kind of added to that small patch that happened uh, a while back so that's all good we're going to move on to the next thing so let's go profile we're going to go to content manager and this time around there is no updates available normally there would be something in here but since there isn't um, we can go back and now let's download the world update so we're going to go to the marketplace and in the marketplace you're going to go to the tab here that says world I know it was also on that first screen but just in case um, to make it easier for everybody down here you have a section called world updates and the latest one here says world update Italy and Malta and it's free you're going to click on it and now you're just going to click on get and download and then once you start that process it obviously switches it to owned which is how you know that you have it already um, installed on your simulator and this one here is 4.63 gigabytes so this is going to take a couple of minutes so I'm just going to scroll down you guys can kind of read the highlights here that they put in um, and we can take a look at some of these screenshots so I know they've added in quite a bit I think this is one of the largest um, world updates in terms of area and how many uh, point of interest they've added and scanned cities some new buildings this is a nice little place here on the bottom left I don't know where that is it's like a see-through globe interesting got some castles the leaning tower I don't know what the structure is here on the right hand side oh nice so we got some soccer stadiums in here beautiful Napoli um, that looks like San Siro from AC Milan and this one on the right hand side I'm not too sure but we'll figure it out later on and at the bottom here we have some more pictures that we can look through so there's a dam um, what else do we got here some more soccer stadiums looks like castles uh, there's a statue that's a unique building or some sort of uh, hub or something well, listen guys, I'm excited for this. I'm excited to get in there and, and see some of these locations. Um, this download is almost complete. So once this is done, we're just going to check and make sure and validate that it's all there. And uh, that'll be it. So now to check and validate that everything is there, we're going to open up the world map. And beautiful we can see all those new point of interest and all the stuff that was added um, let's just start at the bottom here just to kind of get an idea of where they kind of focused so I can see down here in Malta there's a couple of point of interests which is great this is a nice little area that I'll probably end up visiting soon um, as we move up so here there's not very much um, but there are a few there's an airport and there's a couple of point of interest and as we continue to move up you can see that the point of interest are kind of spread all across um, but they did focus on a couple of areas so I see here and uh, excuse me if I don't pronounce these correctly but I think this is Napoli some of you guys may pronounce it differently but uh, I know this used to be uh, already a scanned city but it looks like they've added some more stuff maybe we refined it a little bit um, because it looks like there might be more of it or the scan might be spread over a lot of a lot larger of an area so as we continue to move up it looks like they have a lot of point of interest here in Rome which is nice to see we have Vatican City here off to the left so this area received some nice attention as we move up what is this area here oh Florence so Florence has quite a bit up here as well nice to see and we'll continue to move up uh, there's Milan if I'm not mistaken yes so here uh, we don't have much in terms of airports on the northern end but we do have some new point of interest in the city and one of them of course is the stadium and 
here's another part here. So, here's Venice. And they got a bunch of point of interest too. And if I'm not mistaken, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, I believe this is what's on the splash screen. The, uh, the initial screen when you first log into the sim. I think it's this little area right here. So, that's how you guys can tell if it was uh, completely updated. Um, if you're missing these point of interest, then most likely something is missing. So again, just go back and check, make sure that you've done the updates accordingly. And that's pretty much it. Okay guys, so as promised, now I'll give you guys some previews of the areas they've updated. Um, as you can see, we're going to be flying over some of these cities, just so you guys get an idea of how they look. Um, and that brings us really to the end of this video. I hope it was informative. I hope it helped. I know there was a couple of changes and some new stuff um, that they've incorporated into this process of downloading these updates. Um, if you guys have any questions, obviously feel free to leave them in the description down below. I'll try to get to them as quickly as I can. And if you guys like what you saw and it helped you guys out, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Uh, leave that like down below and uh, hit that notification bell so you guys are alerted of any upcoming videos. As always, I hope you guys have a great day, and we'll see you guys in the next one.